Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Chicago, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Duluth, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. <laughs> now, Kurt, you heard about this story. Uh, absolutely crazy. MSNBC posted a clip earlier that has since been taken down. Of It's a clip that it edited... They edited together clips of Joe Rogan talking about Tulsi Gabbard last election and how good she was, but they made it sound like he was talking about Kamala Harris. And according to Mr. September, that's illegal. Now, I don't know if that's illegal, but here, let me, here, I'll play a little bit of it for you. Here it is. This is MSNBC. Joe Rogan predicts Kamala Harris victory in November. Ready? Watch well, she's this. not. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice she, in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump no matter what. So, first of all, you know that he's not talking about Kamala Harris because – he mentioned a bunch of achievements and Ka yeah. Kamala Harris does. I mean, Kamala, she didn't serve overseas. I mean, I think she took a trip overseas, but that was with a old mayor and to give her a, uh, yeah. that's that, medical service. Yeah. That's that. That's the medical service she provided. Um, hmm. but the, MS, <laughs> but MSNBC liberals, they are the rare species of narcissists that have no idea that they're numbskull uh, snobs. They have been bred and conditioned over the years to roll their eyes like teenagers when given inconvenient information. And it's an IQ test to see who will not bother to look into whether or not he is talking about Kamala Harris or Tulsi Gabbard. Well, he's talking about Tulsi Gabbard. Okay. So, and here in fact, Tulsi called it out. Uh, she says MSNBC, again, exposed as a propaganda machine for the Democrat elite and how they will bla brazenly try to deceive the American people. Watch this. True. So what this means is MSNBC is a for-profit corporation. They are helping Kamala Harris's election campaign. And what they are doing through their platform would qualify as an in-kind contribution to her campaign. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, the fact that they are doing this should require the Federal Elections Commission that manages campaign spending and campaign finance to require them to report this as an in-kind campaign contribution or to be punished for abusing their position in trying to use their platform that has nothing to do with journalism. It is purely a propaganda platform and that they are using this in order to try to help Kamala Harris get elected. These people need to be held accountable for what they're doing because otherwise they will continue to do this, continue to abuse their platform and their power to try to deceive the American people and help her get elected. So uh, FEC law violation, that's never going to see the light of day. Correct. You're, ta you're telling me that a government that doesn't care that it's funding a genocide is going to care about something like this. I don't that. Remember, nobody's above the law. Nobody's above the law uh, unless they aren't Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> uh, but so that's, so, so that's a pipe dream. I mean, I, I hear what she's saying. What they are doing is probably illegal, but nothing's going to happen. And do you want to, you want to say, can you believe who, by the way, who would ever think that they really, only people who watch MSNBC would think Joe Rogan's talking about Kamala Harris because it's obviously he's not talking not. about it. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice she, in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump no matter what. And MSNBC put that up. So who is it at MSNBC that gives a shit enough to lie like that about and to do like, did you not think that Joe Rogan was not going to call it out? Did you think that a lot of people would see it except Joe Rogan wouldn't see it? Like, 
I don't understand what the thought process was. Was was uh, are they going to say it was an intern who did that on his own? Mm. It, uh, it's so, so what's you that? Know, only got to work so long because wasn't this put out during the initial hype for around when white dudes for Kamala and all that nonsense. So it's it's like an immediate thing to just get a little bit of hype, and the kind of person that would take that in is probably not going to find out that it's not real. So, so now they're saying, I, 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 it's you, you really. I mean, if you're dumb enough to watch MSNBC, you're dumb enough to believe that. But so now, this according to the is that the Sentinel Tribune, Joe Rogan is going to sue MSNBC over deceptive Kamala Harris video. Um, By the way, how could how could so what what Tulsi Gabbard is saying is that MSNBC is super dishonest and doing so dishonest that they're doing illegal things to help a political party. And I just don't get it, Kurt. I mean, how could Microsoft NBC be this dishonest? It's named Microsoft after Bill Gates's penis. <laughs> that's super honest right that's super <laughs> honest so they say he's re so now they say that he's reportedly Joe Rogan is reportedly so who's reporting that they don't yeah, that's I just was with Mike Malas just now talking about this and uh, I don't think Joe's actually I think they're just talking out their ass he hadn't said anything to any, me or anybody I know about it I wish he, I wish he would cuz Joe Rogan uh has you know he has the resources to actually to do that and uh, Joe usually wins when he does something like I for defamation you have to prove how you were hurt, harmed by it yeah it can't be like it harmed the country with a lie it has to be how you personally were defamed and it affected you I he, again he didn't say I I've just seen him the last 3 days and, not say anything about that. Uh, he, Mike he, seemed to think it was nonsense. So I, I don't know if they're also stupid. You yeah, know? he would have to show injury. And yeah. there, there really is. I mean, he, I don't think he could show an injury. So here's what this story says. Joe Rogan is reportedly suing MSNBC for $30 million, alleging that. It, so we know what he alleges. In episode 20, of the, Rogan was actually critical of Harris. The video posted by MSNBC, however, Splice together different parts of the episode to suggest otherwise. It's like a rumor or something. I mean, that was clearly spliced together, but I mean him suing about it. I, I don't know how he'd be able to. Uh, uh, it is strange. Let's see, I don't know why they thought that would be helpful. I don't I, know I why don't. did they think. So Rogan, a well-known UFC commentator and podcaster, has consistently expressed skepticism about Harris's presidential prospects, stating that nobody wants her as president. As of now, Rogan has not publicly commented on the lawsuit rumors. Wow, him and Obama on the same page, huh? <laughs> so here is uh, Joe Rogan says nobody. Here, do you want to hear here, here, here is him saying that. Oh, first of all, okay, let's listen. I just can't imagine the United States wants President Kamala Harris. I don't think anybody wants that. Anybody? Everybody in Hollywood wants it. Everybody who was paid to want her wants her. <laughs> everybody who's paid to want her, they want the living shit out of her. Are you kidding? They're coming up with rhymes and artificial intelligence selfies. They're basically screaming teenagers at a concert right now. That's what. what is, Twenty grand was that? What the supposed offer was to like go to the uh, DNC for her? What was what, it? Was something about, about the offers they were getting from her pack. These act like Mark Hamill got paid off. No kidding. The, oh yeah. First of all, you should assume that about all this when you're like nobody wants, and we all know nobody wants her, even if you want to pretend. Reality didn't happen in the last few weeks. No one would thought she was doing a great job. She, Nobody. Jimmy Kimmel used to say on his show, she's the most unpopular vice president in the history of the country, more unpopular than Dick Cheney. How did she go from that to beating Donald Trump after an assassination attempt? Do you believe these yeah. polls, Kurt? No, how could you? Who could believe that? I don't believe them at all. I think it's either some kind of cherry picked who they talk to. Or they're just lying. They also just lie. But yeah. there's no way reality shifted to that degree in uh, a one week.
There's just not a possibility of that. Well, l- here, let me play Joe Rogan's whole statement. I just can't imagine the United States wants President Kamala Harris. I don't think anybody wants that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I mean, they may, maybe some people would prefer that over President Trump. But nobody wants that. <laughs> nobody wants President Newsom either. Uh, nobody believes in that guy. It's, it, the guy's a fucking con man. I mean, everything he did in California, from trying to mandate vaccines for kids, what was totally unnecessary, to being caught out in public without a mask and lying about the fact that he was outdoors. Yeah. All of it. It's just nobody believes in that guy. He's just a politician. Just a stone cold, narrative driven politician, you know. And it's nobody thinks he's a real human. Whether you like Trump or not, whether you think it's cor- he's corrupt or not, that's a human being. You you know yeah. you know is you know what that guy is. Same thing with RFK Jr. Whether you believe that he's correct about vaccines or whether you believe his policies would be effective, and you, you know that's a human being. With Newsom, you've got like this construct this this cardboard cutout of a person it's just i don't think people want that but they might want it more than they want president trump what do, what do you mean joe that gavin newsom isn't human just because he looks like a cross between a, a newborn seal and a diamond back rattler <laughs> he does he does look like that and his his wife is 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 a counterfeit trophy that's what it, I think she used to be his friend's wife or something. Hilarious. Yes, I like think that. something. <laughs> so just so just so you know, this isn't new to the corporate media. Remember when uh, CNN intentionally used a blurry and yellow filter to make Joe Rogan appear more sick, as he mentioned, using ivermectin and other remedies to quickly recover from COVID-19? And then they, they referred to ivermectin as horse to wormer, even though it was a Nobel Prize winning human medicine. So this is the CBS CNN broadcast version that's the here's the original. Joe looks great. That's how they made him look on CNN. Now, if you go debunk? to if you go to F, uh, Facebook, Facebook says they have a fact checker who fact checked this, and they say that this didn't happen. That literally, they hired a fact checker to say that this the thing that you see with your own eyes right here. They say it didn't happen, and they call they call it horse to wormer. Again, why aren't they attacking this corrupt doctor that prescribed horse to wormer to a human man? Right? After him, and not the medical professional that you have to get that from. Could if you change his, his skin color, could, couldn't that be considered almost like misgendering? Uh, it's kind of like what they're doing with Kamala. I'm it, surprised that yeah. you're going to see that different skin tone change in her ads. And it turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink look at, at all kinds of meds. Mom, look at look at they did that. Oh, also, Rogan was right about every single thing he said about the pandemic, and the experts that you should listen to were right about absolutely nothing. Nothing they said. Huh. So the people Joe Rogan brought on his show, like Doctor McCullough, uh, Doctor Robert Malone, they were correct about COVID. Guess who was incorrect? Peter Hotez, Fauci. All those MFers. Anyway, uh, they they lied about everything at every turn. I must have just fell out of the coconut tree. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fall out of a coconut tree? Wow. So, so Fauci, and here's the weird thing. Fauci admits he lied about masks, and he admits he lied about herd immunity. He won't admit he lied about anything else, but we know he lied about the origin. We know he lied about... Uh, well, they all lied about tr- lots of things. I don't want to get a uh, strike. Hey, let me guess. Your medicine cabinet is crammed with stuff that doesn't work. You ain't sleeping. You're not feeling good. You still hurt, and you're stressed out. Like, hey, guess what? Clear out that medicine cabinet and fill it up with CBD from CB Distillery. It's going to be a real change. CB Distillery's targeted formulations are made from the highest quality, clean ingredients. No fluff, no fillers, just pure, effective CBD solutions designed to help support your health. In two non-clinical surveys, 81% of customers experienced more calm. 80% said CBD helped with pain after physical activity. And an impressive 90% said they slept better with CBD. If you struggle with a health concern and haven't found relief, make the change 
to CB Distillery. And with over 2 million customers and a solid 100% money back guarantee, CB Distillery is the source to trust. I have a 20% discount for you to get you started. Visit cbdistillery.com and use the code Jimmy for 20% off. That's cbdistillery.com. Code Jimmy, cbdistillery.com. Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Chicago, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Duluth, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for those tickets. (laughs) 